Hola. Hello. Aloha. Hello. Ciao. Bonjour. Konnichiwa. What happened? I just got the best news today. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Fine, fine, I'll tell you. I just got a call back from the person I had the interview with and just got my first official job. That's great. What did they say? Well, they said I had so many qualifications and knowing a second language was perfect since they're having an increase of clients who speak Spanish. What is so great about knowing a second language? What do you mean? Well, I know that knowing more than two languages can interfere with each other. <sighs> this tip of the tongue experience affects anyone. But bilinguals seem to experience this more often than monolinguals. This blocking can be in either of the languages, affecting them when they are trying to produce a certain word. Don't act like you never had a tip of a tongue experience. Yes, I have, just like everyone else. But I do recall reading an article that says bilinguals have more of those experiences. Doesn't it get tired trying to figure out which language to use? Constantly having to be aware of which one to speak so others can understand. Bilinguals have two mental lexicon, one for their native language and another one for the second language. At times, there is interference between both systems. In picture naming tasks, shows slower response time compared to monolinguals when they have to produce the name of what they see. The fact that they have to choose the right word between the two languages can affect them in response time. Not really. It does not interfere as badly as you think. I do very well. I just feel like it's a constant battle that you have to deal with all the time. You are being so oblivious to anything good about knowing a second language. You only see one side of it. I do not mean to be rude. It's just I have read so much research that talked about how knowing two languages causes vocabulary deficit. I would like you to spell abbreviate. Anyone? What does that word mean? Since they are learning two languages, it may prevent them from learning as many words as they would in one language. Research such as Benzev experiment showed bilinguals do poorer in vocabulary than monolinguals. You're being so superfluous. Just because most research that you have read talked about the negatives does not mean that there's not a beneficial side that can outweigh the disadvantages. I will show you all the good things that it has done for me. Well, Carolina had to go work but I am here to show you some of the benefits of being bilingual. Since bilinguals are constantly switching between two languages, it has been shown that they are much better at switching between tasks compared to monolinguals. Bilinguals respond quicker at stroop task and flanker tasks. These tasks test their ability to inhibit the tendency to process stimuli irrelevant to the current task. Would you look at that? Another exciting fact. Brain imaging has shown that juggling two languages reorganizes bilinguals brain. This helps the individual be more equipped to handle both languages. It has been suggested that a control mechanism may be created to prevent interference. Errors in language selection does not occur as much as people believe. Guess what? More information about the brain. Another benefit is that it had been shown to protect against age-related cognitive decline such as dementia. It has been shown to delay the decline up to 3-4 years. A study done by Pliatskas and colleagues have shown the effects of bilingualism on the structure of the brain. There were many areas of the brain that was either affected or activated, however, the main part of the brain that was caused most attention was white matter in the brain. The study showed a high influence on white matter in older adults and concluded that bilingualism preserve a lot of white matter as one gets older. See guys, there isn't just negative aspects that come with being bilingual. 
but there are many benefits to it as well. Even though we have an increase of tip of the tongue experience and at times interference between the languages, we are more equipped to multitasking. We create a control system to help with interference and it helps delay age-related cognitive decline. So knowing a second language isn't bad at all.